If you thought trading was confusing before, it's gotten worse, but don't worry. I'm here to help you understand when you should start buying those goods, chase down those too-good-to-be-true rumors, and right away making millions with the new active trading. Welcome back to the channel all about life scaling. My name's Teddy, and with the new update to trading and how confusing it can be, I'm going to show you how to quickly start preparing to jump into the new active trading in Black Desert. And before we get into this, huge shout out to the Trading Life Skill Discord. If it wasn't for them, I'd still be floundering about. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on all those notifications so you don't miss out on any new life skilling guides that is yet to come out and let's just move on to the small guide. The new update to trading not only brought it back from the dead but made it more confusing to learn often leading to money loss and not understanding how to just get it started. But it doesn't have to be a nightmare though just to experience the new active trading. Until new introduction quests are made for the new active trading, diving right into it is the only way to trade with oftentimes leading to just running around. So to start out, any and all all trade items from worker made crates to the items found gathering can all be traded into another region's capital. This means if you fish in Balanos, you will have to take it to Heidel and Serendia, for example. Or for those who are still lost, you cannot buy goods in a region like Olvia and trade them to Velia. It would have to be taken to Heidel. Each region has three minor towns or nodes that can be rented and invested in with level zero having the base goods and the higher level nodes providing different goods that can be bought. Choosing any minor nodes trade manager allows you to buy any goods available and check the current prices. These prices will change every four hours randomly up to 300% and down to 30% depending on if it's a normal rumor or a special one. Not seeing a difference, that's not going to matter. What matters is the price will rise or fall every four hours, so keep that in mind. 202 new trade goods were added weighing all 300 LT. You can see the items you choose to buy and valuation, node restriction if it's a higher level node, how long the item will last for, and finally the weight. Choosing to buy the trade good will send it to the new order contract storage. This is where all the trade goods for active trading will be stored now. There's a max weight of 20,000 LT and 65 max slots for goods. Anything bought from the trade manager will only be placed into your mount or onto you. The storages and warehouses can't be used and lastly, maids cannot pick these up either. There is a time limit on every trade item. Once the limit is hit, the trade goods will be forced sold at 25% of the value that you paid. So be careful when choosing which goods to buy and when to sell. Opening the menus and Hitting Life also has the option to open the order contract to quickly show you while you ride around. After the item is bought, they can be added to a wagon or mount by right clicking whichever item you choose and the amount you wish. The Forest Path Wagon does have a max slot space of 22 and enough weight to carry it all. Underneath is the inventory and mount inventory space to show you how much you can add and change where the goods are put on. Once the items are loaded up, they must be taken to a different region's main city trade manager in order to sell. There is an 8% distance bonus making it easier to trade to a closer region, and a 14% bargain bonus that scales with trading levels, so keep this in mind when choosing where to take your goods. One more thing to keep a note of is the quotation board here will display all the items a main trade manager will buy and the history of it all. Just buying and selling can be fun, but let me show you how to figure out which goods you should buy and which ones you should avoid. Trading for money now relies on the rumor system added. To start searching for the rumors and checking out to see if they're all fake news, it can be done by opening the Old Moon Guild's newspaper added to the live section in your menus. In here are a list of the regions and possible rumors. In each region itself, slightly rising to hiking to sell to another region or plummeting and losing the money spent. Finding out these rumors is easy with just heading to the region you're looking at and finding the NPCs that are talking with the constant word bubbles over their head. They mention wanting or warning about the goods that they are located in front of. Military goods are always located near blacksmith, raw goods near the trade managers, food near ends, jewelry near the jewelry vendor, general goods near the central market NPC, luxury near their vendor, and lastly, medicine near material and herb vendors. I'm not sure about relics, but if you know, let me know down in the comments below or down there. Be sure to leave a like if this is helping you. Back to the rumors though. Once you get to know where the NPCs are, you can see if the rumors are correct or false. If the NPC says the opposite of what the newspaper says, or they don't speak at all, the rumor is obviously wrong and you can move on to the next one. To speed up finding the rumors, just set up an alt in the region. Make sure there's a mount with them so they can buy the goods once they're rumor is deemed true and you don't have to waste the time using a wagon. Now when it comes to buying the goods, there's a couple tricks to save time and money. For those purely want money and not looking for the byproducts with a lack of experience, the rumors are going to be the main focus with the hikes turning out the most money if true. Buying
buying the goods when they're red, knowing the price will rise, and waiting for the next 4 hour cycle to sell is ideal, but if the item will hike next, it's still worth buying and selling for the extra money on top. Always bargaining will ensure you get the most money made when trading, so don't be afraid to waste the energy. You can still do active trading going from node to node and relying solely on bargaining and distance, but for the most money, only going for the rumors is where you'll make all the millions. While not a way to make billions in a single hour or to get rare drops like with mob grinding or other life skills, trading is back from the dead and ready to throw you back into the world searching for rumors and making millions on the truth. This update has made me start active trading again and I've been enjoying it. Let me know if you have been too, but in the meantime, if you want to see more Black Desert content, click this video here and I'll see you in the next guide. Happy rumor hunting out there.